a disturbing uh, new warning about a dangerous synthetic drug known as bath salts. They have nothing to do with relaxing in the tub and everything to do with a surge of unspeakable crimes, including one recent and horrifying attack in Miami. ABC's Jim Avila is in Washington now with the very latest here. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Josh. A string of frightening attacks, some of them seem like science fiction, have police pointing directly at a cheap, widely available, and dangerous drug. <laughs> the tortured ramblings of a 19-year-old Florida boy, never charged, but according to police, showing the effects of a supercharged speed commonly called bath salt. <laughs> Pretty devastating to think this kid was a normal kid walking around maybe the week before. A potpourri of constantly changing chemicals, soon to be legal again in many states, that have nothing to do with your mother's actual bath products. Instead, these inexpensive synthetic drugs create a condition police have come to call excited delirium that makes users paranoid, violent, and unpredictable. Police suspect bath salts are behind the face-eating attack on an innocent Miami man last week that left the victim in critical condition and the perpetrator killed by police. Uh, but you gotta chill out a minute. <laughs> and perhaps behind this growling suspect's unwillingness to surrender. For the cop on the street, how dangerous is the person who's used this? We've certainly heard about people with, with you know, extraordinary strength. And, uh, you know, we've seen that with PCP in the past. Bath salts are actually closer to a synthetic mix of methamphetamine and cocaine a lethal combination that creates desperation, sometimes leading to naked ramblings and users hurting themselves. Now, Congress has been asked to ban the concoction by police, but can't agree on a bill, so the DEA's temporary ban expires in six months, leaving the police again unprotected.